Hi students, welcome to virtuality class again. So for today's session, we're going to learn on how to use the wizard. Wizard is a comprehensive virtuality software that we can use to create the environment for our virtuality. So basically, this software is going to relate with your mini project later on. So let's learn how to use this software together. So please, first of all, please download and also install the Wizard 6 first. And then once you install, you will get and then you will open the software. And here is the software interface that you're going to see. Okay, here is the default interface for this software where we have the toolbar up here. And then we have on our left side here is a code browser. And then in the middle here is where we're going to write the script. Okay, so basically wizard will involve scripting and the programming language for to be used inside this wizard is the Python base. Okay, Python. I hope you're familiar with Python, but if you don't have any basic with Python, don't worry because in this wizard, they provide us with the tutorial and also the demo that for us to learn together. Okay, so when you install and open up this software, what you need to do is that we need to go to the tutorial page here. Okay, tutorial. And then what I like you to do is that please click at the button of view tutorial. So for today's session, we're going to learn and familiar ourselves with the software and also the features inside this wizard. Okay, so we're going to learn through this tutorial. So let's go to the button of view tutorial here. All right, when you go to this wizard seek tutorial example, so you need to go to the second tab here for wizard introduction. Okay, wizard introduction. So if you are familiar with Python but new to visit, the best place to start is here. Okay, so they provide you the link of getting your feet wet tutorial. So this is the tutorial that we're gonna cover today. Okay, getting your feet wet. So please click the getting your feet wet tutorial here, and then it's bring you to this page. Okay, so here are the several step or several method that will let us familiar with the scripting and also the features inside this wizard software okay so the following tutorial will quickly teach you all the basic step necessary for building interactive virtual world of your own so you will learn how to create a new script how to add manipulate and animate object and how to make your world more exciting by adding the user interaction in your virtuality environment and you also will get to know the powerful tool of wizard time events and also how to use them effectively. And finally, you will add lifelike avatar to your virtual world. So here are the outline that we're going to cover today. Okay, Creating a new script, setting the scene, moving the viewpoint, manipulating 3D models, animating 3D models, timer event, adding avatar and inserting user interaction. Okay, So here are the things that we're going to cover today. So let's get yourself ready by going into our first lesson on creating a new script. Okay, creating a new script. So please click at this creating a new script. Okay, so it will bring you to this page. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a new script. So let's start by creating a fresh script. If you haven't already done so, so start your wizard first and then make a new script by selecting find new wizard file and add the following line to it. So there are two lines here. First is import wiz and also the second line is wiz.go. So basically the first line is always necessary. Okay, you can read from here. It said that the first line is always necessary. So the import wiz is a necessary, is a compulsory to be add in your script. And then this is uh, basically this import wiz is used to gain access to the entire entire wizard library. So in order for us to access to the library inside wizard, so the import wiz is uh, necessary. And then the second line wiz.go is will start the empty world. Okay, wiz.go. 
So when we have uh, add two script of this, so let's save the script first. So in order to organize your file, I suggest you to create a folder on your desktop or anywhere in your document. Okay, so that you can place everything inside one folder only. Okay, so uh, you can get back to the this script. Okay, creating a fine new wizard file. Okay, and then add these two script: import wiz and also wiz.go. Okay, you add on this here. Sorry. Okay, first line is import with and then second line is with.go. After you're done with this, try to save your file first. Okay, save as. So please remember where you save this file. For example, I'm going to save this as a wizard session. And then I save it on the desktop. Okay, so it's going to change your file name here. And then we go to the tutorial. Okay, just follow this tutorial. What's next? Okay, after we done save our new script here, we go to the next tutorial. Okay, after creating new script, we go to the second menu on your left hand side here is setting the scene. Okay, so click at this setting the scene. So we now go to the second tutorial on how to set the scene. Okay, so to set the scene, we will add a model of Italian pizza using the wiz.atchild command. Okay, so for this example, we're going to use this uh, Italian pizza building okay, as our environment using the command wiz.atchild. Okay, so this command can be used to load any visit compatible 3D model into the virtual world. So in order for you to add the environment or the building or the any 3D model into virtual world. So this is the script that you need to use. Okay, wiz.hr. Okay, so import wiz and wiz.go is already in your script. So what you need to add is that just it add this script. Okay. Piazza equal to wiz.atchild and then piazza.osgb. Okay, try to copy this piazza wiz.atchild here and then add to your working script here. Okay, and then they will ask you to run the script by click on the run icon. Okay, the run icon is this green arrow here. Okay, or pressing the F5 on your keyboard. After you've done this, a graphic window will appear and then you will find yourself in the center of the piazza with a fountain ahead of you. And take a little time now to get familiar yourself with the wizard built-in mouse navigation. So basically, you can uh, go through this environment using your mouse navigation. All right. And then once you finish exploring the world, you should close the graphic window. Either click at the close box or press escape. All right. So let's go and run this script first. So basically, this wiz.chal, wiz.chal here, we add the, this building, piazza.osgb is the 3D model. Okay. So you add this. So in order to test this uh, piazza.osgb environment, you want to see this, whether it's load properly or not. So we need to click at this run script here, okay? The green arrow up here, okay? Run script or click F5 at your keyboard, either one, okay? So I'm going to click at this run script. Okay, so here is, you will see there is a, uh, Piazza building inside here. So get yourself familiar inside this environment by using your mouse navigation. Okay, you can using your mouse to walk around into this building. 
So basically, you are in this pizza building, okay? Using your mouse, okay? Familiar yourself with the mouse navigation. Just now, I uh, hold and then click on my left click, okay? And then move around. Okay, if you put down your mouse here, you will more toward reverse, but if you put it up like here, so it's go toward in front here, all right? So familiar yourself inside here, go and then explore this virtual world. Okay, and then when you use uh, right click, okay, hold and then uh, right click, so basically, you can go in up okay you hold your right your mouse click and then you put uh, in the top area it will go up and then if you right click and hold and then you hold it down here so it's going down okay so you can move around using your mouse navigation right click or left click or on top of going down so you can see this environment in the large area by going up here Right, and then move around to see things. Okay, familiar yourself inside this world. Is it fun? So just now you are in the real virtual reality. Okay, the real of the virtual environment. So if you're done exploring this, so you can just click at the close up here or Click Escape as your keyboard. You may notice that when you walk around inside this Piazza building, okay, basically, you, when you navigate inside here, you can walk through this building. See? Okay, so it's kind of not real, okay, because you can walk through through the wall okay so in order to make it the environment more real so it is better to activate the collision detection okay so let's close this and then let's check back in our tutorial on how to enable the collision detection okay you may notice that you could navigate through a 3d model so when using mouse navigation it can be useful to turn on collision detection to prevent this from happening. So they ask us to add the following line at the bottom of our script, okay? Wiz.collision, wiz.on, okay? So just copy this, and then we need to run the script to see the effect of collision detection has on navigation, okay? Have this, and then paste on this working, and then try to run the script again. Okay, so let's navigate through this and then let's check whether we still can go through this wall or not. Hopefully, the collision detection is working. Okay, now we cannot go through this wall anymore. Okay, because we have activated the collision detection. Okay, so let's try on your collision detection whether it's working or not. So next, let us understand on the coordinate system inside wizard. So by default, when a model is added, is is on the center point. Okay, it's defined in the modeling software, and basically is positioned at the origin of the virtual world. In the case of this Piazza model, its center is located at the ground level in the center of the courtyard. Okay, so basically inside this Piazza model, the center or the origin of the object will be placed is at the ground level here okay ground level in the center of the courtyard and the initial viewpoint position is 1.8 meters above the origin or in the coordinate in x y and z coordinate is 0 1.8 and 0 okay 0 is on x coordinate 1.8 is on y coordinate and 0 is on the coordinate 
z coordinate okay and this explain why the viewpoint is just above the center of the courtyard when the script begins and the following image show wizard coordinate system the axes are color coded so that the rgb match the x y and z okay for example the x coordinate is representing in the red color and then the y coordinate is using the green color and also the z coordinate is representing by the blue color okay you can look into this image but if you want to look this into the wizard itself so we need to add the following line of code to display a model of the coordinate axis and try to run the script okay so just add this import with shape and then with shape dot add axis okay to your script and then we need to run the script to see this axis and then we need to run the script on this icon so let's run the script and see this axis on the so you may not see that that exist model inside this piazza you need to reverse a bit so it's basically is here okay so this axis is representing x y and z coordinate okay so that we can understand how to position the 3d model later on okay so let's get back to the tutorial what else that we need to cover okay with an understanding of wizard coordinate system you can place the object in the scene using the node 3d dot set position command okay so this is the command that we need to use in order to set the position of the 3d model inside this wizard okay wizard unit of measurement in the is the meter okay is measure in meter so x y and z coordinate are always specified in meters the code below will add a plan next to the lamp post to the right okay here is we need to add the plan equal to list dot add child and then plan dot osgb okay so this code or this command is will add a 3d model of plan okay of this plan and then plan dot set position is is going to set the position of this plan onto the four on the x coordinate okay zero on the y coordinate and also six meters to the z coordinate okay four meters to the x coordinate okay four meters to the x coordinate zero on the y and also six meters to the z coordinate Okay, try to copy this code or this command to your script and then try to run this code whether you have the plans put into your so supposedly it will be at the plan okay and then it will set the position of this plan on the coordinate of 4 to the x 0 to the y and also 6 to the z coordinate so try to run the script Okay, move back. So here it is. Okay, you see that there is a plan have been added to this environment. Okay, this plan have been added uh, at the gradient of 4, 0 and 6. Okay, 4 meters to the X coordinate, Y, 0 and then 6 meters to the Z coordinate. So the plan is here. Okay, so this is how we set the position. So now I want you to play around with these coordinate numbers so that you can understand more about this uh, location or this coordinate inside this wizard. Okay, try to play around with this number. For example, if I change this to 6, 2, and 8. Okay, this one is X coordinate y coordinate and also z coordinate so let's see the new location of the plants just now is where it's located okay here is on top of this all right so this is based on how we set that coordinate so it's hanging there all right so let's play around with this number so that you can understand more about this coordinate all right all right, before we are moving to the next section of this tutorial, so let's try to copy and replace the code with the following. Okay, I want you to copy all of this. 
and then replace with the current one. Okay, basically this code or this command will improve the visual quality of the render scene and increase the feel of view. Okay, so we can see the difference between the previous one and also this current command will help to remove all the jaggies. Okay, the set multiple code here, okay, set multi sample here is called to perform anti aliasing so all the jaggy edges are smooth out okay it will it will help us to smooth out the scene okay and also the code for wis.fov here okay field of view it will increase the vertical field of view from the default 40 degree to 60 degree so we can see the view of the scene is more increased Okay, it will be increased. So let's try to copy all of this command. Okay, copy. And then go back to this. Then just replace with all the code here. And then try to run the script. Okay, we can see the difference on this. The quality of the scene is increasing. Okay, the detail is smooth out. This will be more sharp okay, on the graphic here and also the field of view also have been increased. You will see the scene field of fin is increased, okay, it's more enlarged. You can see things more clearer and also more field of view. Okay, so this is the command that might help you in the project as well okay, to increase the field of view and also increase the quality of the image. All right. So let's move into our next tutorial on moving the viewpoint. Okay, just click at this moving the viewpoint.